Hi guys, Andy here. Quite a common question gets asked on uh, internet forums or even on some of my videos. Oh, what's a decent car mount, especially for a bigger device? And someone had mentioned this Airframe Plus by Canoe. Um, it does, as you can see, screens up to six inches. So I thought, well, let's give it a go for my Nexus 6P. There on the back, it explains some of it, that it's expandable grip, it fits the larger phone, and it works on any type of air vent. There we see the actual device, quite a simple design. On the side, I like there's like a measuring tool to put your phone against to check if it'll fit into the, the mount. So let's go ahead and, and open it up. A little bit odd, it's not there. There it is. So, um, kind of just stuck on with some sticky pads. <coughs> Again, as I say, it's quite a simple design. There's some pictures here to explain how it works if you uh, if you really need to explaining to you. Basically, push it onto an air vent. Um, it feels sort of rubberized on the edges. It's a good sturdy feel. There's a strong spring inside. So let's bring over the Nexus 6P. Now, my first mistake, let's try not to put it on the buttons <coughs> and then it's uh, seems a bit high on the device at that point so let's try it a bit lower down hook one side pull the other side around it goes in very easily and it seems to have a pretty good grip so either side is rubberized the back isn't and you can see that's okay though it's it's holding quite well the the bit that fits onto the mounts again is kind of rubberized. I suppose in a similar way to how the spider podium would grip because it was rubbery. I'm giving it a fair bit of a wiggle there, and finally it does come out. But that was a lot of that was a lot of shaking for it to to eventually fall out. Generally, you're not going to get much more than that when you're driving in your car. Maybe you go over some cobblestones or a cattle grid, and it uh, and obviously this is quite a big and heavy device. If yours is a as a slightly smaller device. And I can confirm I've used it with my Xperia Z5 Compact, which is probably as small as you're going to go at the moment, and it fits fine. So let's move on out into the car. Now, obviously, the first thing I've realized with the stretchy side, I can't put it on that side because it's going to block up my power, the cigarette lighter, for the phone to be charging. So let's go over on the left-hand side. And that looks quite neat when there's no device in. It's not sort of too messy looking like some... Uh, holders can and then the phone in place and as long as you make sure it's all sort of pressed in once you've put it in actually that's really quite sturdy there's no wobble there's no no problems in any way in that respect so all in all I'm, I'm quite impressed by this actually um, it's it holds the phone well it comes out quite easily if you just with one hand and you can actually get it back in with one hand. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it make sure you press it back into place afterwards um, but all around, pretty impressive. I've driven around, no problems at all. It's not fallen out. Like I said, it looks quite neat when it's not in use. Um, and it does come out fairly easily if you want it to. And it doesn't leave behind any kind of marks. So all in all, very impressed. It's on Amazon at twelve ninety nine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.